इसका अटेंडेंस तो नहीं होती अटेंडेंस आपकी दोस्त हो रही है स्क्रीनशॉट शेयर किया कि आप इसकी अपना इसका अटेंडेंस का यस तो मेरे मेरी रिकॉर्डिंग में आ जाता है मैं रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूं तो सब इसमें रिकॉर्ड में आ जाता है पार्टिसिपेंट्स की डिस्क में रिकॉर्ड नहीं होती व्हाइट बोर्ड विजिबल यस सर विजिबल वेल विजिबल सो यस्टरडे आई वाज डिस्कसिंग Perpendicular distance from a from a point, point to the plane. On a plane, from a point to the plane. So we derive the formula that yes. The formula was if you have some plane. So this is a plane, and some point P is here. You want to find the perpendicular distance of this point. P is given to you, x one, y one, z one, and equation of the plane in normal form is given. L x plus m y plus n z is equal to P. So the perpendicular distance, this distance. PM. Was coming L X one plus M Y one plus N Z one is equal to minus P. Yes, it was the distance P. By this, you can find the distance. You can derive this one. Or if you want, in terms of Uh, disease like question you can find one so the action cosine also this you can write you know then is given suppose it ax plus py plus Some c z plus d is equal to zero. So I can write l plus minus a upon this thing. I can write is equal to terms of fraction cosines. If it is given in general first degree equation, this x one plus minus b upon under root a square plus b square plus c square y one. Plus minus c upon z one and plus minus d upon minus plus minus plus d upon under root a square plus b square. In terms of a b c, you can write. Or if you want to take its a length, you can write in mod form. Also. Take the mod, so only positive sign because I am taking the length. So it will become a x one plus b y one plus c z one plus d upon under root a square plus b square plus c. In fact, you know this formula. If you want to find length of a point from the line, what we do? We put the point. On the equation of a line divided by its coefficient square. Now, this formula what is it? Yes, sir. We formula are there. But here you just put the point in the equation of the plane divided by the coefficients of under root square of the coefficient of x one by x y z. And if now the point is origin, you know, if you want to find. A particular distance from the origin, then it will become mod of d upon under root 
तो ये पर्टिकुलर केस हो जाएगा आपका जो फीस होगी तो ये पुट हो गया जीरो 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 ओके सो इट वाज ऑल अबाउट लिंक्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव द स्क्वेयर फिर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज आफ्टर सब जंप दिस इज योर सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट आर्टिकल फ्रॉम योर बेस नंबर थ्री फोर्टी वन सम टॉपिक्स दे हैव स्किप्ड देन द टॉपिक इज द स्क्वेयर so there are some basic properties of sphere you know if you know the definition because this is two dimension of circular three dimension you have a square you know this thing circular ki equation kya hoti thi circular ki definition kya hai yaad hai kisi ko definition agar ko mathematical sir it is a sir locus of a point Haan? sir which in a plane sir ha सर जैसे कि सर जो डिस्टेंस रहती थी उस सर पॉइंट की और सब वो लोग सब वो घूम रहा है सब वो कौन सर सेम रहती थी सर सही है वही उसी टाइप की डेफिनेशन स्क्वायर में भी रहेगी हमारे क्योंकि स्क्वायर में भी यू नो कि इफ यू फिक्स अ पॉइंट एंड टेक अ पॉइंट एंड स्टार्ट मूविंग इन सच अ वे इट इज हैविंग अ फिक्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट है ना सो इट विल Form a sphere. If you are moving in the dimension, three dimension in this. Way. So the definition is: the sphere is the the sphere. It is the locus of a point. इन स्पेस स्पेस पे आ जाएंगे आप थ्री डायमेंशन विच मूव सच डेट इट्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम आर फिक्स पॉइंट fixed point always remains same always remains same okay ye baat agar aap plane mein kahenge to fir bhi samajh sakte ho so it remains same now it is as you can understand when in the space you are moving it will be same okay so the question this fixed point is called what is the fixed point it's called the center of the circle you know right? this is like this o here i have taking the origin but it is not necessarily always it is origin and i have taking the origin as the center in this figure but center may be anything you know so the fixed point is called center is called the center of the sphere sir axis pe kahin pe nahi honge fixed point nahi axis pe kyu honge fixed point nahi ho sakte hai i am saying ke if you are taking on axis it will become square there i am just taking a but origin for the sake of curvilinear only i have plotted this figure but this sphere may be anywhere like your circle circle kahin bhi ho sakta hai lekin For the sake of convenience, some origin पे center ले रहे थे, ठीक है? ये तो मैं एक फिर ये plot कर रही है जिसपे origin को center ले लिया है, but you may have center anywhere, और जो भी fixed point होगा, कहीं पर भी आप space से fixed point ले, and just try to start moving a point, keeping distance fixed, it will plot a sphere, तो ये कहीं पर भी आ सकता है, तो fixed point is the center of the sphere, and R is, and this distance the fixed distance i'm move kar raha hai that is called radius 
the constant distance. This is called the radius. It's called the radius of the sphere. Okay, so if I want to take a general equation, and suppose alpha, beta, gamma is the center, I'm taking center as alpha, beta, gamma, and suppose R is the radius, radius is R, so the general equation of the sphere is x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square plus z minus gamma whole square is equal to r. You will see so many things are just same as circle. Only we are adding one more coordinate z. So we are adding one more term z minus gamma whole square. Circle it was x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square is equal to r square. If alpha, beta, gamma happens to be our origin, it will become x square plus y square plus z square is r square. So this is the general equation of a square. General equation of a square. If center is at origin, Then has x square plus y square is equal to r square. If I want to write a general equation in second degree, the general equation of second degree. The equation when you go center and radius. General representation is ax square plus ay square plus z square. Keep in mind, coefficient of all should be same. Plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus g is equal to 0. It is called a general equation of second degree. You say we have to open it again, so you see that type of term sign. You can say that you can do that as form. X square term will come, Y square plus Z square, you have to copy it and run. Two alpha X term will come, you can have to do that as Y term, Z term. So it is the general equation. From this equation, I can find the center, I can find the root. No, if you want to deal. Huh? So, this circle ki general equation is in second degree. Sphere ki baat ho rahi hai. Sphere ki, sorry sir. Sphere ki. Sphere ki hai. Agar aap yaha par z ko zero kar denge, to yaha ko circle hi de dega. Thik hai? I am telling you, circle is the two dimensional curve. Sphere is the bigger in the space. अगर आप यहाँ पे z zero put कर दे, तो everything will become for the circle। यहाँ पर z zero put करने का मतलब क्या है? Gamma को भी zero, z zero means gamma zero, so it will become a question of a circle, okay? So because we are moving from two dimension to three dimension, we are just adding one more dimension z, so it will become a sphere or all the equations which you have studied for circle, उसी का जलाइस होके वो sphere बन जाएगा। तो ये बिल्कुल similar type की है, yes. सर सेकंड डिग्री की जनरल इक्वेशन 3D में सर यही होगी जी यहाँ पे जेट का ट्राइबेड हो गया ये इक्वेशन आगे आपके पूरे उसमें होती तो हो जाती है एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए वाई स्क्वायर सर उसमें इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकंड जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकंड डिग्री फॉर स्पीयर है ध्यान रखना फॉर स्पीयर सर फॉर ऑल ऑल के लिए क्या हो और के लिए यार ये कॉफिशेंट जरूरी होना नहीं है ये ये कॉफिशेंट्स में भी चेंज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सी जेड स्क्वायर इस फेयर केस में कॉफिशेंट्स विल बी सेम आई कैन डिवाइड बाय ए हेयर 
ओके ओके सर सर हाँ सो दिस कैन बी रिटिन जनरल इक्वेशन को आई कैन राइट इन दिस फॉर्म एक्स प्लस यू अपॉन ए होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई प्लस बी अपॉन ए होल स्क्वायर प्लस जेड प्लस डब्ल्यू अपॉन ए होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस डब्ल्यू स्क्वायर माइनस ए डी अपॉन ए स्क्वायर इसे आई कैन बाई अरेंजिंग आई कैन राइट इन दिस वे x plus u by a whole square, y plus b by a whole square, z plus w by a whole square, and is equal to this. This का जब आप square open करेंगे, you will be getting the same. Thing. Okay. So here you can see now. So if you compare this with this form, so you can see center is what the coordinate of the center you can find here, है ना? If I am comparing this one, so here you can see then the center is so. center will be minus u upon a minus b upon a minus w upon minus ab agar a yahan par 1 hoga to center minus u comma minus v comma minus w hai theek hai and radius radius will be Square because it is R square, so I will take the square root of this. It will be under root. Radius is under root. Take this blank. U square plus V square plus W square minus A D divided by A. Six. It is the radius. So in general equation, direct you can write center and radius. If The equation of a sphere given in this form. Okay, so it is quite obvious from here. All the results are similar to the circle. Circle में ये center आपको याद होंगे minus u power minus u याद होते हैं ये इस बार radius was under root u square plus v square minus a d upon a. Then another representation we have is equation of a sphere. Just a minute, friends. I'm. Yes. So equation of a sphere on the join of on the join of two points as diameter. Two points as diameter. Is what? Suppose you have a given a equation of a sphere, but means you have a sphere like this. Keep in mind it's a sphere, not circular means three-dimensional figure. And suppose two points given to you, some point here, x one, y one, z one. Suppose it is some p one, and some point is given here, x two, y two, and z two. And they are the point in such a way that when you are joining these two points, it is becoming a what radius of the sphere like this. Okay, on the join of two points as diameter. Is it clear? It is some p one. It is p one or just some p. So I want to find the equation of this. Let us suppose p one and p two is given to you. So what I will consider, I will consider an arbitrary point P here. Suppose whose coordinate is x, y, z. Okay. So if I will join this P with P one and P two, you know what is this angle? The ninety degree. Ninety degree, sir. Yes. Yes. This angle always ninety degree. Why you know? In semi circle. Whenever you join a diameter by any lines, if the angle is ninety degree, same thing is here also. If you have a diameter, so our sphere case 
सरफेस पे कुछ भी जॉइन करेंगे इट विल बी ए नाइनटी डिग्री एंगल सो इट विल बी नाइनटी डिग्री एंगल डेट्स करेक्ट सो इफ इट इज नाइनटी डिग्री एंगल then what will happen now the direction cosines of pp1 this information given i am not writing you have a sphere p1 p2 are two points on the surface of the sphere such that p1 p2 making a diameter p is any arbitrary point x y z then we know that p1 p and p2 p they will making an right angle angle so they are orthogonal now this is of pp1 is proportional to and i can write proportional to x1 minus x y1 minus y and z1 minus z yes iske proportional honge x minus x1 y minus y1 and z minus z similarly This is of P P two. They are proportional to x minus x two, y minus y two, and z minus z, respectively. And now you know when two lines are perpendicular to each other, we have a relation. If you remember, L one L two plus M one M two plus L one L two is equal to how much? Zero. Yes, zero. You know because cos theta theta is pi by two, which is zero. So it is understood now. Since P P one is perpendicular to P P two, so we have relation. So this is x minus x one to x minus x two. This is your L one. This is your L two plus. Y minus y one, y minus y two, plus z minus z one, z minus z two is equal to zero. So it is the equation of a sphere. If you know the points on the sphere, such that they are making it an x minus x one, x minus x two, y minus y one, y minus y two. ये पॉइंट जरूरी नहीं हर बार डायमीटर पर आए कहीं और होते तो आई कैन नॉट राइट इन दिस वे फिर आप कुछ और तरीका निकालते बट हेयर बिकॉज दे आर फॉर्मिंग अ डायमीटर सो दिस एंगल विल बी 90 डिग्री अदरवाइज इट नॉट इट नीड नॉट सेट नीड नॉट बी नेसेसरीली अ राइट एंगल यू नो दिस थिंग सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द फॉर्म्स आल्सो देन Let us take one problem. It is problem number second problem, page number three forty two. Page three forty two. Find the equation of the sphere which passes through which passes through. The points. Some points are given to you. One minus three four, one minus five two, and one minus three zero. Okay, three points are given to you, and whose one more information is given. Whose center lies on the Plane. Plane is given. X plus y plus z is equal to c. Okay. So we have to find the equation of the sphere. What are you? How to solve it? Simple problem. I have to do. Make it fast. क्या करें सबसे पहले? First thing you have to assume. What? Sir, a general equation. General equation. Ha. So center value form लिख लेते हैं. Let the sphere be. So I am writing this x minus alpha whole square 
because it is easy to solve. Plus z minus gamma whole square is equal to sub a square. A I am taking it. Suppose this is the equation of the square. Now, suppose it is your one. Now this one is passing through these points, so they will be satisfying. Now I have to find three unknowns: alpha, beta, gamma, and a. These sorry four unknowns. I have to find four unknowns. So four unknowns के लिए I have to construct some equations. Equations कहाँ से आएंगी? In conditions. Now one is passing through these three points. Since one passes through the given points. So it will satisfy all these three points. So I can put it here. So we get in place of x, y, z. Firstly, I am putting the first point one minus three four. So you will be getting one minus alpha whole square plus minus three minus beta whole square plus four minus gamma whole square is equal to a square. So we similarly second, similarly third. So all the three quantities will equal to a square. So direct, I can write this equal to second point of the graph. So one minus alpha whole square plus two minus gamma whole square, and this equal to third point one minus alpha whole square plus minus three minus beta whole square plus zero minus gamma means you have gamma square. It is equation two, and one more thing is given. Center lies on the plane. So center coordinates kya hai yahan pe? Pass alpha, beta, gamma. So one more condition you have also alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to zero. It is also one of the equation because center I have considered alpha, beta, gamma in this equation one. So it will be lying on the plane. So you got this. Equation, na. So, yeah, three, so one, two, three. Here you have equations, and then the fourth equation is also plus two. So now you can solve it. Why, boy? Is it a solve? Can solve? Yes, sir. First, first or third yes, level, sir. But see, it has a simple calculation now, nothing else. First, first, second equation, take it. It will give you one equation. First, third, learning it will give you another equation. Second, third, learning it will give you another equation. You will be getting three equations. उन्हें सॉल्व करेंगे थ्री एंड नोट्स आ जाएंगे पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन दिस थ्री इट विल आल्सो गिव द इक्वेशन सो व्हेन यू विल सॉल्व आई विल आई एम राइटिंग द डायरेक्ट आंसर यू विल चेक इट इट विल बी कमिंग आफ्टर सॉल्विंग सब सॉल्व करेंगे अपने फेयर कॉपी पे सब लोग आई विल आस्क टू सबमिट फेयर कॉपी नोट्स आफ्टर सम टाइम सो यू जस्ट कीप प्रिपेयरिंग योर फेयर कॉपी After solving, you just check alpha will be coming one, beta will be minus three, gamma will be two, and radius will be coming a is equal to two. Okay, ये चीज़ आई है. Check करिए guys. Then question number one and seven, page three forty, three forty two. These are home assignments. Sub tab try ki jaga. Is it type ki problem sir? Next we have equation of a tangent tangent plane. Hello. Yes. Sir, ye jo home assignment ka question hai sir, ye fair copy mein to karne hai. Sir, fair copy mein karna hai aapko. Okay sir. Copy aapke paas koi nahi hai, sir fair copy hai keep it mind. रफ कॉल पे ऐसे क्वेश्चन को पहले सॉल्व कर सकते हैं ट्राई कर सकते हैं कुछ गड़बड़ हो और जब फाइनल हो जाए तो फिर फेयर कॉल पे कर लीजिए ठीक है नाउ इक्वेशन ऑफ अ टेंजेंट प्लेन यू नो बिकॉज यू हैव अ स्पेस स्पेस में तो यू हैव अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्लेन है ना तो अगर यू हैव सर स्फेयर आई वांट टू फाइंड व्हाट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ अ टेंजेंट प्लेन बिकॉज़ ऑन द स्फेयर फ्रॉम एनी पॉइंट यू कैन गेट A plane passing through any point. So if you have this sphere, so at any point here you can have a plane. This is 
the line so i can have a actually plane like this it will be ye andar cross nahi kar raha dhyan rakhna three dimensional figure hai so it is just sitting on the sphere not crossing samajh mein aa raha hai just take a ball ball ke upar jab aap koi plane sheet rakhenge a4 sheet rakhe so you can see ki wo jo a4 sheet hai on the on the ball it will look like a tangent plane kyun bhai yes sir matlab sir se plus rakhi hui hai matlab hai na ha it is just sitting on the sphere yes aap koi ball le rahe ho ball ke andar cross nahi hota hai ball aapki solid ball hai jaise ball is a example of a sphere तो उस पर आप कोई पॉइंट ले लीजिए कहीं पर भी कहीं पर भी बॉल में पॉइंट ले लीजिए उस पॉइंट पे आप एक प्लेन क्रॉस करा सकते हैं क्रॉस मतलब एक प्लेन रख सकते हैं उस प्लेन को हम कहेंगे टेंजेंट प्लेन सर तो उस टेंजेंट प्लेन में हाँ पता नहीं सर अगर बॉल किसी प्लेन पे रखी हुई है वो भी तो टेंजेंट प्लेन होगा हाँ एक ही बात है बॉल प्लेन पे रखी हुई है प्लेन बॉल पे रखा हुआ है ठीक है यस जैसे अगर आप बॉल को जमीन पर डाल दें जमीन को अगर आप एक्स वाई प्लेन सपोज कर ले तो डेट इज अ टेंजेंट ठीक है तो हमें उस टेंजेंट प्लेन की क्वेश्चन निकाल दिया क्लियर सो यू नो हाँ सो फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग स्पेयर एट अस्पेयर एंड सेंटर इज जीरो ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस लेट द स्पेयर बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर and let us suppose this point of contact where the tangent plane is passing this coordinate is suppose some x dash y dash z and let p x dash y dash z dash z p kare p any point on it On it means on the sphere. Then you know the direction cosines of the line. Then the DCs of the line. This is I have taken origin. This is your origin. DCs of the line joining this point to the center. अगर मैं इस point को center से join कर दूँ इसे, है ना? कर सकता हूँ. तो क्या होंगे? x dash upon root x dash square plus y dash square plus z dash square और सर इसी तरीके से हाँ joining this point मतलब अगर मैं proportion लिखना चाहूँ तो line joining p to the origin r proportional to हम coordinate form में simply लिखना चाहें तो I can write x dash minus zero y dash minus zero and Z dash one, right? Proportional to this, respectively. Okay. That means x dash y dash z dash, x dash y dash z dash. Now the tangent plane, you know, the tangent plane will be what? It is perpendicular to this, right? Tangent plane is perpendicular to this line. So yes, sir. I can write tangent plane is perpendicular. Two two O P. If I am taking O P, so plane की question आप इसका लग क्या हुआ कि ये जो direction cosine है किसके हो गए? It is the direction cosine of a normal, है ना? So if yes, you have sir. a plane and if you know the direction cosine, if it's normal, तो हमने question निकाली थी. अगर direction cosine L M N है, तो क्या question आई थी? L X plus M Y plus S Z is equal to how much? 